Hello and welcome back to Tried and Tested. In the previous episode, we spoke about non-stick tawa and triply tawa. Today, we will talk about two different varieties of tawas: cast iron tawa and hard anodized tawa. Let's find out which one is for you. Over here, I have a hard anodized tawa. When aluminium is dipped into a chemical bath, the surface of the material hardens, creating a protective layer on it. Now, because of this hardened surface, this tawa can withstand high temperatures. Now let's move on to their usage. I am going to show you how to make pizza. I am using Prestige Dura Stone Hard Anodized Tawa for this. Also, it can be made with less oil or butter. Pizza is almost done. The reason why it looks so perfect is that hard anodized tawas heat up quickly and evenly, which means. You can cook flatbreads like chapati, fulka, rotis or any Indian bread to perfection without worrying about hot spots or burning. And just like that, our pizza is ready. One thing that makes this tawa unique is its durability. Hard anodized coating is harder than stainless steel and scratch resistant. One thing you should keep in mind before buying hard anodized tawa is that it cannot be used easily for dosas, uttapam and other battered based cooking. So what is ideal for cooking batter based recipes? The answer is cast iron tawa. Here is a cast iron tawa. This tawa is made from melting iron which is known for its durability and heat retention. This tawa has been used since ancient times and has been considered completely reliable for cooking for thousands of years. Even in cast iron, we get two types of tawa. I have soft tail cast iron tawa on which I'm cooking uttapam because of its flat surface. As you can see, our uttapam is shaping perfectly. And the reason for that is the heat retention we get from these cast iron tawas, which makes them ideal for cooking crispy and evenly cooked uttapam, dosas and teplas. Our uttapam is ready. Let's turn this tawa and begin with our next recipe, which is stick kebabs. One benefit you get over here is that you can transfer this tawa from the stove top to the oven and continue cooking seamlessly. Stick kebabs are ready. Finally, we have Hawkins cast iron tawa which has a curvy surface and I am going to make green moong chila on this. Apart from the even heat distribution, it is also ideal for high temperature cooking. This provides durability to the product. They are virtually indestructible and can last for generations. And they are also versatile for cooking various types of recipes. Just as you can see, how conveniently the frying is done here. Also, if it's properly seasoned, it will develop a non-stick surface over time. All our recipes are ready. While there are a few things you should keep in mind before buying a cast iron tawa. The first is the weight. It is a little heavier than any other tawa. Also, cast iron tawas, if not used regularly, will need re-seasoning. The tawas I have used today, I bought them from rasoishop.com. And if you too are looking to buy one of them, here are the prices. We have Prestige Durastone Heart Anodized 250 mm non stick omni tawa, which is for MRP rupees 1350, and with Rajri Rasoi Shop discount coupon, you get it for rupees 1000. Then we have soft tail cast iron 30 cm 2 in 1 grill and griddle tawa, which is MRP rupees 2199, and with Rajri Rasoi Shop discount coupon. You get it for rupees 1749. 
finally, we have Hawkins Futura 24 cm cast iron roti tawa, which is for MRP rupees 1525. And with Raj Sri Rasoi Shop discount coupon, you get it for rupees 1150. I hope this will help you choose your ideal tawa. So that's it from Tried and Tested. Let us know which other products you would like to see next. And don't forget to visit rasoishop.com and check out 5000 plus kitchenware products from 100 plus brands.